All right, so the next one, what it tells us to do is it says find the rate of change represented in this table. So what I'm going to do for this one is I need to look at it. Remember, I need to find what is the change in my y values compared to my change in my x values. So what I'm going to do is I need to look at how are my values changing. All right? Now, when using a table, when using a table, I'm going to go from top to bottom. So as I'm going from top to bottom, how are my y values changing? What's happening? As I'm going 15 to 9, 9 to 3, what's happening? I'm going down 6, right? So you could make this very easily just saying down negative 6. And then over, how are my x values changing? Going up 1. So you could say the rate of change is simply negative 6 over 1, which is equal to negative 6. All right? Now, sometimes, guys, it might not be that easy. You might say, Mr. McGlug, I don't understand, or maybe there's, the numbers are really difficult. So if you're having trouble, how do we find what the difference is, right? The difference tells you to do what? Add, subtract, multiply, and subtract, right? So if I'm saying what is the change or the difference in two y values, you could also just say, 15 minus 9 over 1 minus 2. And here, again, what we'll get is a positive 6 over negative 1, which still equals a negative 6. So you can just subtract two values from your x and your y's, and you'll get the exact same answer. OK? Mikhail, did that make sense? Rudolph, you good? OK. Jessica, got it? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Any questions? 